got the call from um, one of my beekeeping students that I've been helping a lot and these are her two new beehives and these are all her dead bees. They're everywhere. They're definitely poisoned. This means that one of her neighbors sprayed a flowering plant, a plant while it was flowering during the day, which is definitely gonna kill bees. So these are just the bees that are managed here that we know about. Um, who knows what it did to bumblebees, native bees, any bees around. But when you see them on the ground, they're just going crazy, right? They're... Oh, the way they move on the ground. Yeah, That's from the poisoning. So this is how you know that your bees were poisoned. It's, first of all, you'll see just piles of dead bees. And then also, the bees that are still alive, which will be extremely disoriented. They won't be able to fly. They'll kind of skip in circles. So like she's skipping and she's really confused. She's definitely poisoned. Somebody sprayed, um, somebody sprayed their plants. They must have sprayed a flowering plant. It's the only way this kind of thing happens so quickly. Would it, would it be like close or? I would say it's close because both your hives were foraging on it. Yeah. If it was for like, sometimes I've seen this happen with my hives where it was just like one hive and that made me think it was maybe further away. Yeah. But because both hives got it, I think it's gotta be somewhere in the immediate kind of vicinity. Yeah. And it would have to be like a plant that was really attractive to them, you know, because this is a lot of bees. This means there were bees all over that plant, whatever. Yeah. What we can do is open them and find out how bad it is. Ideally, these are all foragers that didn't make it back into the hive and they weren't able to transfer the poison nectar. And it's tough because a lot of times this kind of hit on a new colony like yours can wipe them out. If this was a, a strong colony that was already three boxes tall and it got hit like this, I would be more confident they, they could bounce back. Like I've had colonies bounce back, but because they're so small, there's a good chance you're gonna lose them both. And they'll go up to, you know, they usually stay within a mile range, I would say, but they can go up to three or four five miles it's kind of debatable what people say i think it's close just because both of them got hit so hard if it was further away i think it would have been one of them you know i don't think they would be going to the same nectar sources if it was further away if i go in and i pull up the frames and they are falling off the frames that's bad yeah <laughs> if that means the poison got in the hive um if i go in and they look relatively normal, there's a good chance they might bounce back. This is the damage that we can see because we have managed hives. We don't even know, you know, about all the other bees that died, other colonies in the area, bumblebees, native bees. Well, there's still an okay amount of bees in here. They're not falling off the frames, that's good. You see the queen on your side at all? That's what I'm looking for. These ones don't look poisoned. I can tell they're young because they're fluffy. Yeah, I don't see a queen on this side here. Just double checking you. Uh, this is better than I thought it would be inside that. They're very young, aren't they? Fluffy. Yeah, these are all young bees. See how little fluffy they are, like little Ewoks. They have fuzzy heads, that's how you know. Wondering where their uh, elders have gone. So this is what happens when you spray flowering plants. You kill these bees, you probably kill a lot of native bees. Um, it's totally devastating. Because it's like, if you're going to use a pesticide, 
fine, but don't use it on a flowering plant. Just wait until it's done flowering. So, like, that's yeah. what you need to tell them. You don't have to uh, say, don't ever use a pesticide, pesticide. ever. Just don't use it on a flowering plant. Just yeah. say, don't use it while the plant is flowering because that this is what happens <laughs> this is what happens and this is just your bees can you imagine all the other bees in this area that might have gone to that plant this is why they're dying out huh? all the bumblebees yeah. and everything like that makes me feel sick